All right, here we go. 33 days and counting until Super Bowl 51 comes to Houston. And tonight we're getting a look at how some old buildings are being put to good use just in time for the big game. That includes the old downtown post office on Franklin Street. It's closed, but we'll soon have new life. Josh, Josh? Chapin is there to show us how. Hey, Josh. Hey, Len and Mia, it's a huge space right here in downtown Houston, built nearly 81 years ago. It's the old Barbara Jordan post office that's now taking on different life. This is where they used to drop off the mail and pick up the mail. The loading docks are still here. Signs also clearly show that workers handled and sorted mail throughout this building. It's historic downtown location. It's the Barbara Jordan Post Office on Franklin Street, which the U.S. Postal Service stopped using in May of 2015. It's now going to be prime real estate for Super Bowl 51. Think about right now, how many spaces available in Houston with this much space? Something that didn't show you there is how many bathrooms are here. Promoter Bob Fuldauer says this old space will be turned into a variety of things in the week leading up to the game, including an indoor market, room for art exhibits and warehouse type parties, even office space. You want a degree of intimacy and what you have here, because it breaks down to so many different spaces, but then again, you have the very big wide open spaces to go along with it. The first two levels have 270,000 square feet of space each, and there are multiple levels above that. It becomes whatever you make it, and Day for Night put on a great event. The Music and Arts Festival Day for Night hosted a series of events in here that drew nearly 20,000 people. What's great about this location for the Super Bowl that is I-10, and that is I-45. A building with spectacular views that dates to 1936, and one that has reminders of past eras throughout. The place served as Houston's Grand Central Station until it turned into a post office in 1962. Developers hope to turn this site into permanent mixed-use development. By the way, the engineers that designed this structure were also the same engineers that designed of all Houston landmarks as well, the Astrodome. Live downtown tonight, I'm Josh Chapin, KHOU 11 News. Pretty cool. Thank you, Josh. And also